Townsville's Hit 103.1. Townsville Dental Centre. Emergency appointments seven days a week. Call 1300 for my tea. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Fleck here with your national briefing. Making news today, one state scores a heap of rats to cover schools, WA homes threatened by fire and the BAFTA nominations revealed. Let's get into it. The PM's resisting calls for aged care minister Richard Colbeck to stand down in light of the ongoing COVID crisis in the sector. There's been hundreds of deaths across facilities across the country since the start of the year. Scott Morrison says everything possible is being done to get to the bottom of it and he's warning against people using the ailing sector as a political football. I understand those who are seeking to make political points about this in the lead up to an election. But that's not going to help anybody or help us continue to do the very important job of trying to provide every support we can to residents who are in aged care. Taking a look at COVID numbers today, there's been 84 deaths reported across the country, while there's more than 4,000 receiving treatment in hospital for the virus. Meantime, some promising signs with hospitalisations decreasing again across Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland. New South Wales Chief Health Officer Dr Kerry Chant says it's pleasing to see. ICU is also declining. You will note that the number ventilated does still remain at a more constant level, and we expect that to be a little bit slower in declining because of number of the patients have got longer length of stays in ICU when they are ventilated, but we will see that number come down. While in more good news, South Australian Premier Stephen Marshall says more restrictions will be relaxed in his state next week. I think we can be confident that we'll now uh, continue to see our numbers reduce and that means that we can uh, reduce our restrictions over the next four, six, eight weeks in South Australia. The first week back for school kids in several states is coming to a close. Day one in Queensland is this coming Monday with the state government assuring parents and teachers there that there'll be enough rapid antigen tests available in schools when classes return next week. Here's Deputy Premier Stephen Miles. 250,000 tests ready here in the stockpile being distributed into schools over the weekend uh, to be available for uh, the return to school on Monday. An emergency warning has been issued for a fire burning in WA's south coast. It's near the Shire of Denmark. Authorities warn homes are under threat. And finally, the BAFTA nominations have been unveiled, with June leading the pack with 11 nods. Aussie actor Cody Smith-McPhee has earned two nominations, supporting actor and the publicly voted Rising Star Award for his role in The Power of the Dog. The winners will be unveiled in March. If you touch something that gives you an electric shock or tingle, the next thing you touch should be your phone. Call Ergon on 13 16 70 immediately. Spirits are high in the Aussie women's cricket side after retaining the Ashes urn. Last night's one-day win means England has no chance of claiming the multi-format series with two games left. Well, champion bowler Megan Shoot says it's great to be back post-COVID. Yeah, I was amped. I was, like, buzzing. I um, had some caffeine gum out in the way, too, so I was probably a little bit too shaky out there. But, nah, it was, at the end of the day, it's cricket. Um, it's, it's what I do for a living. The Beijing Winter Olympics officially kick off tonight with the opening ceremony. Figure skater Brendan Kerry will carry the Aussie flag alongside aerial skier Lauren Peel. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm so excited and the fact that I get to share this experience with such a, an amazing athlete, an amazing team, I'm incredibly thankful. That audio from Seven. The Eels have elevated big man Junior Paulo to co-captain ahead of the start of the 2022 NRL season. And the Cats of the West Coast will both be chasing their first win of the AFLW season tonight. Download the free listener app now to get headlines and get their coverage. And what's the news possible storm in Townsville for the rest of today, down to 25 tonight, a possible shower tomorrow reaching a high of 31 degrees. Our listener app is the home of radio, podcast, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now. <laughs>